those days when I'm tired or worn out or just basically sick of the grind what what do I do on those days I go anyways I get it done even if I'm just going through the motions I go through the motions I don't really want to work out I work out I I really don't want to hammer on a project I hammer on the project don't really want to get up and get out of bed yeah I get up and get out of bed now these could be signals that you need some time off and those signals might be right they could be correct but don't take today off not today wait until tomorrow don't don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear shut that down do not listen to that little voice instead go through the motions lift the weights sprint the hill work on the project get out of bed now as an overall rule i do not like procrastination you need to get things done but if you are going to rest that is one thing that you should procrastinate on that's the one thing i want you to put off until tomorrow and if when tomorrow comes you still feel like you need to rest or you need to take a break then okay take it but the chances are you won't you won't need that rest chances are you will realize that the desire to rest was just weakness it was just the desire to take the path of least resistance the downhill path the easy path and by simply going through the motions you overcame that path and you stayed on the righteous path the disciplined path you stayed on the war path All right, so Rome wasn't built in a day. We all know that. Everyone hears that. But Rome also didn't fall apart overnight either. It took hundreds of years for Rome to reach its peak, but it also took time, hundreds of years, for Rome to decay and fall apart and that is representative of life because you don't achieve worthwhile goals quickly or easily they take time they take struggle they take relentless pursuit day in and day out that's what it takes But also, things don't usually fall apart quickly either. At least at first, it, it's, it's a slow process. A little slip here, a little setback over there, a little wearing down of discipline and will over time. that's the thing success and failure are generally slow processes either slowly building things up or gradually tearing them down and that's why I say you've got to pay attention you have to watch you have to watch 
every single second. Because those seconds, they turn into minutes. And minutes turn into hours, and hours turn into days, and days turn into years. And so, that second, that second that just went by, that counted. And so did that second. And so did that one. And in those precious seconds, you were either building or you were decaying. You were either gaining ground or you were losing ground. In that second and in every second every second counts so make every second